Hello, everybody. This is Ken Renner once again, getting back with you regarding uh, video marketing. And I'm the uh, video guru, the video expert, uh, the number one real estate video channel in the nation with over 11 million views. And what I'm going to teach you right now is the basics of getting your YouTube channel started. Your YouTube channel is your filing cabinet. That is where you're going to keep all of your videos. Now, there's other channels out there. There's Meta Cafe and there's Vimeo and a few others out there that uh, you can put your videos on. But but we really want to focus on YouTube because YouTube is the 800 pound gorilla and Google owns YouTube and YouTube is the number two search engine in the world. When you do your search rankings, YouTube is by far going to rank a lot easier for video than any of the other ones. So not to say that you can't use the other video channels out there, but let's focus on YouTube. And the first thing you need is you need to have a YouTube channel. And so that's what's going to be the focus of our next quick lesson here is how to set up a YouTube channel. It doesn't take long. It only takes a couple minutes and you can believe it or not, have as many YouTube channels as you want, or you're focusing on your small business or your profession or whatever it is that you're going to be trying to promote, where you're going to be storing a lot of videos. The first thing you got to do is start here. So I'm going to turn this over to my assistant, Daniel. He's my IT guy. He does all my YouTube channels and he's much better at getting these things set up and he'll be able to show you exactly what you need to do to get started. So here we go. Hi, today I'm going to show you how to create a YouTube channel. If you need to back up the video and catch anything that I went too quickly over, feel free to do that. So first what you want to do is go to youtube.com and as you can see, I'm already there and in the top right corner you want to click on create account which is this one right there so I'm clicking on that and you have to fill out some of this information about you and uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and make this up because you know I have several YouTube accounts already I don't need another one and you know, obviously you would want to put in your real name, your Google username that you would want to <clears throat> to have, you know, connected to your business or product or service. And you want to make sure that you have a password that you can remember because if you don't, then you will not be able to get back in. Next, you want to put in your birth date and I'm just going to put in whatever makes sense to me and your gender. Uh, after that, you need to put in a phone number and an email address. These two things are actually optional, and I'm not going to do them. They're really more for account recovery and validation purposes, but you don't they're not super required, so that's okay. I don't want Google to be set as my home page, so I'm going to uncheck that. And I am not a robot, so I'm going to put in what I think this says or brick call. Uh, this is a captcha thing to make sure that you're a person. Every, everybody gets a different one of these, so you just have to put it in. The location should be, you know, United States. It'll probably guess this uh, if you're not from the United States. It'll guess what country you are from. Below this is the agree to terms of service, so I'm going to click yes to that. And I don't want Google's ad content. Uh, I, I don't like that one, so I'm going to uncheck that one. And next step is here where you create your profile. What we're going to do is actually not do this. Um, it says to add a profile photo that's optional at this point. We're going to skip that. So we're going to go to next step. And this says you're all set, but not quite. Uh, I'm going to hit back to YouTube, which is down here on the bottom left. And this will redirect back to YouTube. and. Hopefully I should be logged in, but we're not done. Um, you need to go click on your name right here. So if your name is Bob Smith, you'd click there and you click on my channel. Here is a bunch of things that'll, you know, it, it relates to sharing uh, activity that you do on the, on YouTube. If you want to leave them all checked, feel free. If you want to leave them unchecked, it's as simple as doing that. It's entirely your preference. I'll leave those checked. And if you want emails about YouTube product services, whatever, check that. And then you hit OK, I'm ready to continue. You think you're done, but you're not quite. Almost. So this is a little tour thing that shows you how to go through YouTube. I'm not going to do that because I've done it many times. Here you want to go back to click on your name in the top right and click on YouTube settings, which is right there. 
Now you want to click on advanced, which is right here, right under your email address. And you want to create a custom YouTube URL, which is this channel URL, and it's this long string of random characters. You don't want that. You want something that makes sense. So I'm going to click create custom URL. And in this case, I believe I picked Bob Smith Real Estate 25. If, and in this case, you would want to put your service. So if you're Nike, you want to have Nike. So that would be YouTube.com slash Nike. Or in my case, YouTube.com slash Bob Smith Real Estate 25. Then you click Create Channel URL, and you are done.